Oh, hello. Where are we looking? That's where we're supposed to be looking. Going that way. Better, it's got the brakes charging. What I will do at this point is turn on PCB and CIFA. PC barrier M would be about right. Brake tests. Back to 1B. Panograph up. Circuit breaker closed. Activate the lights. Put the lights on. Yeah, I'm going to do AFB on this train as well. Yeah. Oh, parking brake. Release the train brake. Alright, let's just go moving forward. What's the key for AFB, Ruakon? So R is the toggle. Control R makes it go forwards. So Control R is that, and Control Shift R is to make it go down. Um, Josh, the, the trick with um, AFB is it's different depending on whether you're, mu you're moving or not. If you're not moving, then it's relatively straightforward. If you're moving, then you, you have to do something. It's almost the same, but you have to move the AFB lever to maximum. I'll show you. We'll do both of them. Oh no, you can't beat a Taurus for music, being a musical train, definitely not. <laughs> I know, Ricky, I don't like the key sequence myself either, but it's, it was too late to fix it, unfortunately. Dex, thank you very much for the sub. Seven months, I know. It's gone nowhere. Thank you very much indeed. There's a PDF timetable coming soon. Not sure. I haven't done it yet. I haven't even started looking at that yet. Uh, Narrow guest students, any idea when Xbox users get more content? Not yet, I don't know. There's, uh, so West Somerset and Raw are both coming on Xbox and uh, PS4, but I don't have a date for them yet. Takes a bit longer to get stuff out on the consoles. But it is coming. What do you guys think of the accelerometer, by the way? See you later, see. IX Demon X, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated.
Gaja, thank you very much for the resub. 22 months, much appreciated. I think we're all done. Breaks have gone on, which is good. Oh, now we have coupled up. Have you guys also noticed this thing? I told you about the handbrakes and things. That should be working. It's got the lights on. Set the master switch to forward. Train brake to full service. Let's do a brake test. Transium guy, thank you very much for the resub. 18 months, five days late, but better than never. Yes, thank you very much indeed. Much appreciated. <coughs> Sergeant Salt, do I know about the door bug where sometimes they don't open? Yes. So if that's in this scenario, it means basically you hit the other wagons too hard and it gets it confused. If you press control zero, so if I jump out now, yeah, and I, let's say I can't get on, if you press control zero, it will put you back in the last cab that you were in. So in this instance, it's the wrong one, but um, you can use control zero to jump back in the train. Um, we do have a fix coming for that. All right. Are ready to go. We are. Oh, you're going to go to the exhibition tomorrow, train some guy. Yes, I'm going to be at an exhibition tomorrow, hopefully, um, if all goes well. So, uh, if you're able to make it, folks, I'm looking forward to seeing you. Uh, bacon, out of curiosity, why does it take longer to come out on console? So there's. Uh, additional work that's done from the original release to so there's an additional time then so we take feedback that comes from the original release on PC is then put into a first round of fixes so that it, um, there's more work gone into the uh, console version which is then pushed immediately back to the PC so it's like patch version 1 is what goes on console plus it's all got to go through Sony, Sony and Microsoft certification um, and uh, yeah that's a process so Right, so let me just stop. So if I stop, right, if you want the AFB on, throttle off, AFB off, press R to toggle AFB on, and you'll notice the blue um, triangles have appeared. Put your AFB where you want it, which in this instance is at 40, um, and then all you need to do is release the brakes and go. And that's now it driving itself. That no, you're reading the wrong thing into that bell spike. <laughs> no wonder people never say anything about what goes on. <clears throat> if you want to read awkward things into what I say, I'll stop saying things. Right, just a bit more power on the throttle. There we go. So that gets us up to the AFB. The issue you had was when entering Hagen. Okay. So now if I want to adjust AFB, I can just... We haven't got anything saying I can't do that, so I can uh, I can speed up. I'll accept the speed limit. <laughs> That's what's telling me I can't do that. <laughs> That's better. So you can just adjust the AFB needle now, and it'll speed up and it'll slow down. AFB will actually use the air brakes as well as the electronic electric brakes, so it will speed up and slow down as much as is required, which is quite handy. You went with the passenger coaches. Okay. Any single track? No. No, there's no single track. Right, so this is telling me expect reduce or oh, reduce speed at sixty kilometers an hour. over onto the other side here. Um, the QA team have got a range of different cards. Um, Pudet, I can't remember what the minimum they test on is. 
But if you're asking if they all got high spec cards, no, it's not at all. Right, so let's turn off AFB. Oops. So now I'm under normal control, so if I put the power on, you'll notice it's responding. So if I now cut the power, put that to maximum, and press AFB on, I move the bug back to where I want it, which is there, and then I put the power on. And she's applying power now, and should hopefully slow down by the time, or stop accelerating by the time it gets to 100 kilometers an hour. Fingers crossed. So we're a few kilometers out of Hargan. Does c on beyond need to be on for AFB? No. Oh, they're all three completely independent systems. Uh, Jono124 Gaming, yes, there's a manual um, for the product. You can get it from the Steam page, and that's got some guidance on PZB in there. Right, so let's uh, bump up the AFB to there. Now, we're in PZBM. And if you're in PZBM, running at 120 kilometers an hour is actually a bit risky um, if you're not 100% watching what you're doing because if you then go over a thousand hertz magnet, pretty much immediately the brakes will come on because it's watch it's following a curve to speed you to slow you down, um, which means you're almost immediately going to be exceeding that curve. So I always run a little bit below the maximum speed for the PZB mode. Yeah, that's the best bet, Sergeant Salt. Green, green again. So, for those of you that have got this, what's your favourite cab? The 185, the 143, or the the Dosto. Cab car. <laughs> Got green greens coming into here. Jono, this is out now. Sifa. Shut up, Sifa. Right, let's cut the power because we're going to be slowing down shortly. Bring that down to. Turn the AFB off. Do I ever get bored of this game playing it at work and home? No, never. Let's get some brakes on, acknowledge this green, yellow, expect reduced speed. Okay, maybe I put too much brakes on there. <laughs> maybe I put too much brakes on. Wow. 
Right, that's better. Now we're in restricted monitoring. Don't! Which button turns off CIFA? Control enter and shift enter toggle PZB and CIFA. Yeah, this thing down here is an accelerometer, so it's telling us whether we're accelerating or slowing down or. They turn the platform stop markers off. I think it's control seven, but someone was saying it wasn't working for them. It was only ever planned to use the um, that guy on Twin Sim World for um, for the first four releases. So it's not so much of getting rid. It was that was all it was intent. He was intended to be there for. Uh, you should be able to remap the keys. I'm hanging, but it's control R and control shift R. Uh, what's the difference when you change the game units from Imperial to metric? So like at the moment it tells me my speed in kilometers and my distance in meters. Uh, if you switch to Imperial you get uh, miles. Right, reduce speed. How do you mean cap car tutorial, Sergeant Salt? Do you mean the Rise and Shine scenario? Right, we've got an expect reduced speed coming up. No, I'm not going to be there on uh, much of Friday, train sim guy. I've got to go to London and get a job, a job done in London tomorrow morning. And then I'm heading from London to Bristol Friday. So I might be there towards the end of Friday. Um, and then I'll be there properly Saturday and Sunday. I would have liked to have been there today, but I had uh, this other thing I needed to do. What convention is the Bristol Society of Model Engineers um, in Bristol? If someone can post a link. Oh, can you send me a screenshot of that, Sergeant Salt? Experimental engineers, that's it. <sighs> what we got? Redu reduced speed again. No other indications, so it's 40 still. So I should probably lower my speed then, really. Uh, 
Okay, Sergeant Salt. Oh, that's interesting. Because there was a cab car scenario tutorial done, but it isn't finished. <laughs> hey, got blubber mail. Hate it when you press the wrong button. It's better. Oh, my chat is gone again. My, my Twitch chat has gone again. Hang on a minute, folks. I can't see what you're saying. Let me know if you can see my chat that I just posted. Good. Excellent. We're back on chat again. Right. Speed up a bit. Hey, Poke Debbie, how's it going? Yes, that's how it is, Lucaso. From the sound of it, it's in the next tutorial step. From the sound of it. Right, slowing down. No, this doesn't have the um, engine room area, um, Steam and Jam. It's needed for the 143 because that's where the doors go in. Unfortunately, it adds quite a lot to the model building to put in the uh, interiors as well. So it's done where it's needed. A repeater. It's the forty limit. What's the best resolution to play TSW in? Well, I use it at 1920, 1080. I find that to be a good one. Any 16 by 9 resolution should be fine. I've not tried it at 21 by 9. I know other people are running it fine at that resolution. There's a couple of artifacts in the menus and things, but the game, I think, runs fine at that size. Right, we're stopping in 900 meters. Right, we're only AFB now then, for sure. Oh, where did you get a break, um, a problem, Ruicons? Oh, excuse me, thank you very much for the uh, the sub. Very much appreciated. Uh, 
Uh, Ralphan, I'm aware of some problems um, with that, but essentially what I need to know is everywhere you see that, shout, let me know. Yeah, Control 7 toggles that on and off, so someone else was saying it didn't work for them, but you can see Control 7 turning that on and off. See what I mean? Oh, you're doing more than 40. Oh, in which case the overspeed protection might have kicked you out. You can't get the coach lighting to work. Have you enabled the train line power in the loco? You can click all the buttons you like in the coach if the train line power isn't turned on. It's not going to do anything. The screen resolution effect frame rate. Yes, it does. Oh, excuse me. Thank you for the cheers. Been watching charity streams on YouTube. Noticed that it was live on Twitch. Area. Well, it's good to see you. Thank you very much for joining. I hope you're enjoying those streams. And big thank you to Stephen Jam, who's doing all the uploads for that, actually. Get around to GG for Stephen Jam, who has brought the YouTube channel to life. We're not in restricted monitoring. We are in a yard, so we shouldn't drive too fast. Yeah, the thumbnails are a total pain, aren't they? <laughs> Although Tube Buddy does make it a bit easier. Hey, JJ So, how's it going? Oh, well, that took a bit of time to come through. So we need to make sure that's off, that's off, put that off so that the brakes apply, put that out, good. Oh, I haven't done the headlights. Oh. No. That's better. What's the oh excuse me yeah the Twitch thing yeah it might be Streamlabs it might be Twitch you never know. Right, so we're in here. We've sat down. Right, there is this master switch to forwards. That to full service. Right, finish the brake test. Go back to one B. 
Headlights to bright. Release the train when ready. Right, if we come off, turn AFB on, we've got the indicator, throttles off. Turn the uh, AFB to 40. We've got the signal, we're good to go. Yes, thank you for the cheer there, oh, excuse me, much appreciated. There was no red arrow on the first circle. I don't know what you mean by a red arrow on a first on the first circle. Good night to you. Benzo Keynes, thank you for the follow. Oh, you mean down here? Right, that generally means that you've got the reverser still set in the other end. The reverser must get back to off. If you've got the because if you've got one active, if effectively the reverser being in a non-neutral, a non-off setting, means that the cab is active. Really? Oh, okay, Dex, that's unusual. Who was it that you were watching? I was looking on the right couple of them out. Oh, you are watching him and you are hearing loads of complaints. I'll try not to be surprised. Hey, Mr. Ribku, how's it going? Do you think we'll ever see any steam quarry Hunslets? I'd love to say, I think I'd love to say yes for that, but I don't know. <laughs> Well, I'm not aware of any issues, Dex, so if he can uh, raise a support ticket with um, what he was doing and so forth, suffice to say that these, these are probably some of the more complex locos we've done. So it could just be there was a problem there. I'm certainly not aware of an issue. I've not seen one. White lights. Right, we've got a reduced speed, expect reduced speed. So I need to acknowledge that. Sounds good, Dex. You know, if he wants to send me a message, I'm quite happy to uh, walk him through it. As long as he's civil. Thank you for the follow. You find me on Discord, Dex, and just send me a Discord message. All right, we can speed up a bit now. I mean, if, uh, feel free to send in my contact info, Dex, if you can't find it. More than happy for you to do that. Where's the overhead wire? The overhead wire isn't in every siding, Rubku. It's a pain in the neck. Not every siding is electrified. Royal pain in the neck, trust me. 
and you're trying to create content and you're like, oh, I've just sent that train into the wrong side. <laughs> Put them wagons there, I can't go and pick them up. Nice, Rubka. Alright, we've got a uh, distant within any two boards, so we need to acknowledge it. Mad Matt, you've been enjoying the new route. Excellent. Well, I'll pass that feedback on to the team. That's really good. Thank you. Let's drop this back down to 40. Yeah, you'll find all those boards there as well, Glen Egg out where the where you if, if you get like I think it's a blue diamond thing, and if you're gonna run off, then you get the blue diamond telling you where it stops. Do I know why they're not all electrified? Not a clue. <laughs> not a clue. Might have been cost of electrification, so they've only electrified the wires that they, the lines that they need to electrify. All right, we can go fifty. Oh, come on, thank you. Hey, Dean. Good night, Moggy. I'm not sure what you're asking, Stephen Jam. Yeah, I know exactly what next route is, uh, you and man, but I can't tell you. <laughs> Lots of plans. It never stops. We plan a long way in advance. Uh, Amon Rillen, thank you very much. 22 months, nearly two years, but not quite yet. I keep on networking. Thank you very much, Amon. 22 months. Got another reduce. Has that got any two boards? Yes. So the reason I set the Xbox controller up like that, Sergeant Salt, is because I want it to be more like an, a racing game, for example, where people are used to right-hand side being throttle, left-hand side being brake. But well, maybe people don't like that. Rob! Robel, uh, oh my, Matt, nearly two years, 22 months, wow. Oh, we're going uphill, that's what I've slowed down. <laughs> Uh, oh, excuse me, just got this DLC and also picked up uh, Bristol Exeter in the Express sale. That's you busy for all. Yeah, really. Thank you for the cheer, oh, excuse me. You're welcome, Daffy. It's glad you're enjoying it. You like the ma is the manual useful, G Cook Scotland? I'm still waiting for someone to tell me whether or not it's helped them learn PZP. <laughs> right, so we've got an expect stop. Oh, that's because we're going into the yard here, that's fine. To acknowledge that. 
It makes PCB an easier pill to swallow. Well, we can't ask for much more than that, can we, really? <laughs> You can download the manual BMJ on the Steam page and then just open it up in whatever PDF viewer you prefer. Is this some a good starting point, uh, Gorilla Noir? Well, I hope so. I mean, if you don't turn on all the safety systems, it's relatively chilled. Um, and then you can turn on the safety systems and it kind of requires you to learn more about how the whole thing works. Right, let's uh, throttle off, AFB off, turn AFB off, and then come into the siding here. Remember folks, control seven if you don't like it. I've seen people saying, oh, it's such an arcade game because of that. Now it's not an arcade game. Yes! Control 7 is the answer to being a simulator. Apparently. <laughs> People have reported issues with the first scenario. Yeah, it's because they're using the release step. What you need to do is look at... You need to use the running step, not the release step, to release the brakes. If you go to the release step, it actually overcharges the brakes, which may make them difficult to release. They would release eventually, but it would take too long. So if you just run around to the running step and not to the release step, then you're all good. I ran it earlier on now, before this, actually. Right, climb down and complete. Are we off? Yeah, we're off. Oh, it wants me to do stuff. Put the parking brake on. Dean, you're more than welcome. I hope you're uh, you you'll be feeling better soon. Uh. Ruicons, have you used the door side selector? Are you running Storm uh, Stormfront? Or whatever it's called. <laughs> I can't remember. Storm Trail. Wild West, yeah, really. Going to the bushes, well, 